Alright, the video's booted up. So, <clears throat> for those of you that haven't already figured this one out, that's all obviously Ryland in the middle of the picture. Two was out for what direction you heading? Westbound. Tom at the back, the aircraft in question is a 1945 model S&J-6, also known as a T-6 Texan or a Harvard. We're going to go on a uh, half-hour introductory aerobatic session to the T-6 here today. Today's date is the 14th of November, 2021, and we are at the Greenville Downtown Airport. Gorgeous day, huh? It is. So what do you do for a living, Ron? Uh, I'm a musician, and I install garage doors. All right. What kind of musician? Just about anything I can play. Uh, yeah? Uh, primarily a bass player. Okay. I used to play the piano, but I, I gave up, pretty much gave up on it, I think. <laughs> Realized that that was uh, a very difficult career. Yes, it is. <laughs> so you're local here in the Greenville? Yes, I am. All right. So you thought, ever thought about learning to fly? Yes, I have, ever since I was a kid. Oh, fantastic. Well, here you go. This will be your first logbook entry then, huh? Outstanding. Got it with me. Fantastic. <clears throat> well, we're only an hour or so south of here, so you can come on out to the ranch and learn to fly. Absolutely. It's, it's, uh, it's a lot better to learn on grass and, and, you know, little tail draggers out in the boonies. Right. All right, we're going to turn around into the wind here so we can do our uh, uh, pre-takeoff checklist. <coughs> Just like any other airplane. How's this for turn radius, by the way? Doesn't get much better than that. All right, you can, you can shut your can up if you like. All right. I go to 1,600 RPM. We're going to cycle the propeller. 200 RPM drop and increase the manifold pressure, fluctuation, oil pressure. All is looking normal. We'll go up to 2,000. Check our magnetos. Both are good. Mixture hooked up. We'll throttle back. Hydraulics flaps up. Trims are set. Prop mixed to forward. Mags on both. Altimeter is set to 1,050. Shoulder harness lock controls free and correct. I am ready to rock and roll if you are. I am. Let's go. All right. Let me dial up the correct frequency. There they are. Two whiskey off, there we go, one nine, the right turn. November four five two whiskey off, tower runway one nine, depart with the right turn, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, two whiskey off. So we have a bit of a right crosswind, but we also have left turning tendencies from that clockwise rotation of the propeller. Okay. So I'm going to keep the stick all the way to the right to start with. We're going to use a fair amount of right rudder as well, or pedal, I should say. But here comes the power. It's uh, supercharged. It's going to go to 36 inches of manifold pressure, 2250 RPM. All the engine instruments of the green will lift the tail up right away. It's got a good bit of power. Engine instruments are indeed happy. 80 miles an hour will rotate. Let it accelerate to 100 miles an hour right there. Landing gear selected up. And we are climbing. This thing has some performance. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll start turning to the right. And we're back on the power. One, two, Mr. Off you have the traffic ahead, no near left of the site, Sasta. Negative, I'm sorry, I'm looking for him. It's about 12 o'clock high now. Okay. Oh yeah, I got him. Okay, he's also out to the west. So let's teach you how to fly. All right. <laughs> well, you already know what the stick and rudder basically does, right? Yes. Uh, so why don't you just give it a try? You'll find the controls are very effective, very sensitive, so be careful. Oh, they are. Yeah. All right, let's level off here briefly. We're going to put the nose down to the horizon. All right, because we have some airspace we're staying underneath there for just a second. Okay. Little higher with the nose. Right there. That's where you want to be. That's that's level fly right there. All right. Very sensitive. Yeah, no 
Angle's down slightly. There you go. Good. Here's downtown. We're flying over. Nice. Didn't take long to get here. No. <laughs> I'm five Mike off down. You do have outbound traffic as you turn in uh, to the northeast, 12 o'clock, four, uh, four miles, 2.2, T6 westbound. Hello, out looking for traffic, Todd McAfee. All right, let's bring the so nose up. Two whiskey out of the tire, inbound traffic ahead and to your left, about 10 o'clock, three miles now, 3.4, inbound for a right base of the decathlon. Looking for company, two whiskey out there. up a little higher. It doesn't take much. No, it does not. Five mile alpha tire, traffic, 12 o'clock, two and a half miles, 3,000. Alpha Tower, traffic now 11 o'clock. There he she is. Point three. Over. Roger, runway 19 crew to land. Let's see it. That's two whiskey alpha house company. Thank you. All right, give me a gentle turn to the left. Yeah, that's one of the airplanes that we teach people how to fly in from scratch in right there. That's ah. Good. That's our super decathlon. We also have that blue and white Citaria you saw sitting on the ramp. Right. So that's what we teach it. A great little machines. All right, look out the right side of the nose. Nobody there. Let's turn to the right for a little while. And we're going to ask turn like this all the way up to altitude, okay? All right. Same problem that we had in taxi. We couldn't see over the nose. We right. experienced the same issue when we were climbing because the nose is too high, right? Right. So some airplanes climb so steep that you can't see over the nose. Others do not. They're all different. All right, we look to the left and turn left. Right again. Right. There you go. All right. Little racetrack down there. Yeah, I saw that. I don't know which one that is, but I don't either. Looks, looks like fun, though. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like a... Um, what do you call those things? Oh, I'm drawing a blank now. Grand Prix cars or whatever. But the ones with the big uh, boards on top. Um, oh yeah, the sprint cars. Yeah, sprint car, that's it. That's what it looks like to me. But <laughs> Alright, back to the left. Nose up just a little bit. towards this highway down here on your left. All right. Now, as far as the aerobatics are concerned, my suggestion there is that I'll do a maneuver. You follow me through in the controls, I'll explain to you what I'm doing, and, okay. then and then I'll talk you through the same thing. So, I'll do one, then you do one, and we'll just work our way up slowly to whatever level you're comfortable with. How's that sound to you? Sounds good. Excellent. It's beautiful up here today. It's absolutely gorgeous. Alrighty, well we're reaching our altitude. What do you say we get started? Alright. Alright, so just follow me through on the controls. I'm going to put the nose down. We're going to pick up some airspeed. Okay. And uh, I'm going to demonstrate a simple aileron roll to start with. 
I'll, I'll demonstrate one to the right, and then you can do one to the left. I'm pulling the power back on purpose. There we go. Let's try my job, sir. We'll ride it down for three seconds. Ride it down for three seconds. Ride it down for three Oh, here we go. I pick up the nose. About 20 degrees above the horizon. Neutralize and roll. This is the way we should look at the world, right? Yeah. A little bit of right side <laughs> on the bottom. And we're done. What do you think of that? Is that all right? All right. All right. Your turn. Do it to the left, however. Pull up first. Bring the nose up. A little higher. Stop. And left stick as far as it goes. All the way over to the left. All the way. More left. More left. There you go. Keep doing that. And a little bit of left pedal also. Keep rolling though, you're not done yet. And stop. And pull up. <laughs> How awesome is that, huh? Oh, that's great. How you feeling? Feeling good. All right, what do you say we do a loop? All right. Follow me through, here we go. I'm gonna turn to the left, we're gonna pick up some airspeed. Gotta fall off to the left a little bit. There you go. So this time you're gonna be pushed on the seat pretty hard. I want you, I want you to do is take a deep breath and tighten up your stomach muscles and slowly exhale. Look at your wingtip. Look at your wingtip off the side. There you go. Now we can look forward, relax, breathe over the top. Oh and yeah. Here comes the second pull, so tighten back up. Here we go. How's that for intense? Woo! Wild, huh? Oh, yeah. How you feeling? Uh, felt a little light there for a second. Sure. Not very, but a little. All right, I just don't want you to get queasy. That's what I'm concerned about, right? Oh, uh, no, nope, no. Nope. The G's will affect you in a different ways, but as long as you don't get sick, that's what matters to me. All right. You feeling okay? Yeah. All right. In that case, your turn to do the same thing. You have the airplane. Continue this turn a little bit further. All right, put the nose down. All right, straighten the airplane out, but keep diving. Keep diving, keep pushing a little bit. All right, keep the wings straight, level. All right, and pull. There you go, look at your wing tips on the way up. Yeah. Woohoo. Oh, yeah. Look forward, relax. Good, and now slowly start pulling again. Awesome. Keep coming up. There you go. That's a loop. Woo! Well done. <laughs> That's awesome, huh? Oh, it is. All right. What do you say we continue? Yes. All right, follow me through. I'm going to turn to the left. We're going to pick up our speed again. We're going to do what's called a reverse Cuban 8. Okay. So this is a combination of a r half a roll and three quarters of a loop times two. So it looks like an 8 by inside the sky. All right. Here we go. I pull up. Look at your wing tip. I stop there, and we snap upside down, there you go, and then loop on through. That's pretty neat, huh? Yeah. Pretty good visual. Your turn to do the same thing. Pull up. All right. A little higher. Stop. Roll all the way around. All right, stop, and slowly pull. <laughs> That's great. All right, you can turn to the right a little bit. How you doing? Doing good. Yeah? Yeah. Awesome. This is a good heading. Let's go straight. <laughs> so the next maneuver is the opposite. That's called the regular Cuban 8. This is where we do the loop first and then the roll on the down line. There's a complete opposite of what we just did, okay? All right. All right, follow me through. Here we go. I'm going to pick up some airspeed. There we go. Starts with a lift. We look at our wing tips, as always. Now we look forward. I relax. And roll. Your turn to do the same thing. All right. Loop it up and over. Pull. A little harder. Good. Keep pulling up. Don't look at good. Keep coming. All right. We look forward. Relax. And roll. Left stick as far as it goes. A little bit of left pedal. Awesome. Stop and pull up. 
<laughs> there we go, two's up, just uh, watch the Donald's on again. Roger. Alright, so, how about some hesitation rolls? Okay. This is the four point, eight point roll type stuff you see him do at the air shows all the time, right? Yeah. So, follow me through, here we go, we're looking for the airspeed. I'll demonstrate a four point to the right to start with, okay? Alright. And just keep looking straight ahead the entire time of this maneuver, okay? Here we go, I'll pull up. All right, stop. Roll. One. Two. Three. Four. How's that? Yeah. Your turn, do it to the left. All right, pull up. A little higher, faster, more. And stop. Roll. One. Do it again. Two. Oh, that's pretty good. Three. I like it. And pull up. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, how you feeling? Feeling good. All right. What do you say we do an eight point then? Okay. Follow me through. Again, I'll demonstrate to the right. There we go, up we go. Stop, roll, one. Keep looking forward, two, three, four on the inverted, five, six, lot of rudder, seven, lot of rudder, and eight. How's that? Outstanding. You feeling okay? Yeah. All right, pull up. Quite high. Stop, roll, left.
Alright, all right, 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 Initial for a one niner and uh, twenty five hundred episode. Thanks. All right, put the nose down. Let's dive. Nine or one Fox right here. Come left just a little bit. Nine or one Fox right here. Nine or one Fox right here. Nine or one Fox right here. Number six, turn your Bravo turn, head no traffic on the east side, contact Greer Tower, 120.1. Is that call on? Turn your Bravo. Tower is here, say 168, we see holding short, 19, ready for departure. Tower helicopter 76 Tango Bravo. 76 Tango Bravo, this is Greenville Tower. Push button, thanks. Hi, you can turn to the right. Okay, Wishy Tower, runway 1 9, 5 of runway 8. Go down to 2,500 feet. It's 3,000 foot to take off the stage. Alright, let's pull up. Alright, let's go straight. Doing 220 miles an hour over the ground right now. It doesn't really feel like it, does it? No, it doesn't. That's what happens when you're away from stuff a little bit, you know? Yeah. But this is definitely the way to travel. It is. Whiskey, contact Greer, 11848, good fight. Hold, hold your altitude. A little longer. Fox 14, Whiskey Yankee, holding short at Delta 4. November 1, for Whiskey Yankee Tower, runway uh, 10, Delta 4, hold short. Put the nose down, nose down, nose down, nose down. Uh, down. Four whiskey. Follow me through for the uh, approach landing. Left brake midfield. Left brake midfield. Two whiskey alpha. Alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to overfly the runway. A thousand feet. Then we're going to do a left turn midfield for the landing. Alright. We like doing these approaches, the overheads they're called, <coughs> because it doesn't interfere with the other traffic. We don't really mix with the other traffic very well. For departure, Sagan. Runway 28, intersection Delta 4. Clear for 
take off. Clear for take off, 1 4 was to Yankee, Delta 4, runway 28. very well at the moment, but as soon as we get down into the flyer, you'll find that the nose is going to come up and appear the runway in front of you. Okay. A bit strange. We're actually landing blind. Like that. A little different, huh? Yeah, it is. The two was Gav, Tass, Able, Ray, Alpha 3, taxi to the rim. Alpha 3, thank you. You should definitely learn to fly. Absolutely. So, just give us a call. We'll get you on the schedule. All right. Next time I won't eat a bacon cheeseburger beforehand. Uh-oh. <laughs> Are you feeling it now? Now that we're on the ground, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> How about that? I was holding it together on approach. Uh-oh. Well, you should settle down now that you're on the solid ground. Absolutely. <laughs> That's awesome. Isn't that cool? All right. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Oh, I did. And thank you for flying with us. Thank you. Welcome.